Hi, this is Chris Berninger with Carbon Black. This is a short demonstration to show the integration between Carbon Black Response and IBM's Q Radar in order to detect, respond, and quickly remediate a security incident. The way that I'm going to demonstrate the integration here is through a live spear phishing attack. So on the left hand side of your screen is the good guy system and as you can see there's an email sitting there in Thunderbird waiting to be opened with a malicious PDF attachment. Over on the right hand side of your screen is the bad guy system or the adversary machine and here sort of waiting in the lurch uh, is this dark comet remote administration tool. So essentially the adversary is waiting for the malicious PDF to be open uh, to get a call back home. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my end user hat for a moment, open up the spear phishing uh, PDF, and now you can see very quickly on the adversary machine, there's a new entry in the remote administration tool. Now the problem here from a security perspective is simply by getting that end user to open up the malicious PDF, now the attacker essentially has free reign over that system to do things like grabbing passwords, uh, keystrokes, or even doing a remote command shell. So here I'm going to run a few uh, remote commands just to demonstrate uh, a typical security attack. Uh, so maybe I'll try to establish the connectivity on the system that I've compromised through a ping command, trying to ping my secondary command and control server perhaps. Uh, next I'll run a Windows command called who am I slash all and essentially what that will do is give me a sense of the users who are logged on to the system that I just compromised so that maybe I can pivot over to an admin account. Now that was the attack itself uh, but let's talk about how uh, QRadar and Carbon Black Response will help you quickly detect uh, and respond and remediate to this attack. So on that end user system was Carbon Black Response which was continuously and centrally recording all the endpoint information, pulling that to a central server and then sending it over to QRadar. So here within IBM's QRadar, you can start to see some very tight integration between QRadar and Carbon Black. So first of all, when you install the CB Response app from the IBM App Exchange, you'll notice there's a set of dashboards that are included with the app and you can see them on your screen. Secondly, a tab will be put in for CB Response. Uh, so here, directly from the QRadar console, sort of a single pane of glass, if you will, you can do carbon black endpoint process searches, deploy carbon black sensors. You can actually see detection events or watch list hits. So sure enough, we can see a new detection event from just a few seconds ago. That was the spear phishing attack that I just ran. You can also download sensors. Uh, you can isolate a system, so that's a function within Carbon Black Response to isolate or quarantine an infected system. You can do that right from QRadar. Uh, also, another feature from Carbon Black Response is to ban a hash. When you ban a hash, you can essentially uh, kill it if it's currently running and not let it relaunch. Well, again, you can now do that directly from QRadar. So imagine that your SOC analyst has the capability of actually taking effect on the endpoint without leaving uh, the SOC dashboard. Uh, when you install this app from the IBM App Exchange, it's actually very easy to install and configure. You simply put in the URL to your Carbon Black Response server as well as your company unique Carbon Black API token. And then once you do so, you can set access controls to determine which of your QRadar analysts have the capabilities of doing uh, which Carbon Black Response features. Now, of course, the core capability of QRadars to take in information from disparate data sources and put those into actionable offenses. And you can see here that there are some uh, offenses that are being generated from our Carbon Black server from those security events. You can also take right-click features uh, against IP addresses within QRadar. For example, here again, if I want to isolate a machine using Carbon Black or synchronize a sensor to get sort of the last couple of minutes of data, you can see that I don't even have to leave QRadar uh, to do that. Uh, also, QRadar has the capability of calling custom actions, so if something happens running a script, for example, uh, well, Carbon Black is 100% API driven, so it'd be very easy to say, if a certain combination of events in my environment occurs, go ahead and automatically isolate a machine or maybe automatically ban a file hash. Also in the log activity section, you can see where there's some additional Carbon Black uh, information coming from this good guy machine. Well, here I can start my investigation. I can right click on that malicious IP address and do a carbon, response a carbon black response process search. What that'll do is answer a very difficult question, which is show me from the endpoint vantage point which processes in my environment have called out to this malicious IP address. 
So now what I'm going to do is just sort of sort this by the last start time. And what you can see is that four minutes ago on the good guy machine, we did have a security event that triggered this a particular detection alert. And here's the real power of carbon black response. This occurred literally just four minutes ago. It was the spear phishing attack that I just ran. What you're looking at is a visualization of the entire kill chain. On the left-hand side of your screen, the end user was in Thunderbird, uh, opened up a PDF. In fact, every time something executes, Carbon Black Response will grab the command line. So I can see precisely here the name of the PDF that was uh, open, the malicious PDF, and that it was done from the temp directory on this end user's machine. Next, I can see that a, an executable called rund11.exe uh, executed after the malicious PDF opened. Well, this file says it's from Microsoft, but it's actually an unsigned file, so we don't really know where it's from. Uh, getting into Carbon Black Response, it has very deep detection, so it collects all this data centrally uh, and continuously, and it runs it against various threat intelligence alerts, both first party and third party. So Virus Total is one example where we can see that 51 out of 57 antivirus engines said that yes, that file is actually malicious, but let's say it was a brand new targeted attack uh, created exactly for my organization and therefore doesn't have a signature or a definition or a virus total score yet, we can see some additional carbon black detection uh, kicked in around uh, suspicious indicators as well as our proprietary icon matching feed, which notice that this is a Facebook icon, but it's not a Facebook file, so the adversary is trying to trick the end user into opening up that file. Lastly, remember the very last thing I did as the adversary? I opened up a remote shell. Well, that's what this command prompt there is. And then remember then I did a ping command to darkcomet.com. Well, there's evidence of that. And then finally, a who am I command, uh, which was run as well. So the beauty of this is normally we would not know what happened on uh, an endpoint during a security incident. We'd have to go digging for the information and may or may not ever find it. Certainly wouldn't find it in real time. Uh, here, though, we can find it within a couple of minutes of it happening by virtue of all the data that's being collected in the built-in intelligence. Now, when it comes to remediation, if I want to ban a malicious file, as I talked about earlier, you can do it right here from this console, or again, you can do that directly from QRadar. Same thing with isolating a host. So if I know this machine is compromised, regardless of where it is around the world, I can use the isolate host function, which will quarantine that system from the network slash internet, and then finally, I can use the go live feature, even if I've isolated a host. What the go live feature will allow me to do is to do things remotely, such as uh, taking a memory dump, uh, executing a script, uh, deleting malware, uh, putting a file on the system, getting a file from the system, uh, things of that nature. So even if you've isolated a machine, you can still respond uh, remotely. So again, just to sort of highlight the integration between the two, to conclude, the integration of IBM's Q radar and carbon black response allows us to quickly detect, respond, and remediate security issues in our environment. Thank you.